barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, man. So we coming up onto a fight, but I want to talk about something because, you know, I have to give my own self credit as it relates to, uh, um, um, uh, telling people when fights. I told you guys, everybody jumped out the window and said Earl Spence and Sean Porter is fighting August 1st, August 2nd, August 3rd. I was the only media member, the only media member that said, no, they're not fighting August 3rd, August, whatever date that was. Who ended up being right? Me. Earl Spence just posted on his Instagram story, I am not fighting in August. So y'all can go listen to all the motherfuckers. They gonna say, oh, this little black dude is crazy. He don't know nothing. He, you know. I know all the fight dates. I know everything. I don't know everything, but, you know, I told you between top rank and PBC, I have a great grasp of what's coming up and what's coming through the pipes, you know, but I, I told you guys, they are not fighting August. Everybody reported it. Everybody, you name it, your, your favorite white media member, your favorite black media member, your favorite Mexican media member. And I was stood alone on this little, on this little island and said, no, they're not fighting in August. I was also the only one that told you Mikey Garcia is fighting Earl Spence last September. Go check my videos in Cowboy Stadium. I was the first person. Everybody going to go off and report whatever they want to say. I was the first person that told you Deontay Wilder is fighting Tyson Fury. You know, I, I mean, go read. The, <laughs> go, go listen to the breadcrumbs, man. Now. You can hate it or love it. I got the juice. Ain't that what that nigga said? I got you got the juice now. <laughs> Anyways, man, I'm off to uh, New York tonight. Uh, as I say, any subscriber that want to come out, hit my DM, please. S I L E N T H E R O S on Instagram. I actually want to go see Malcolm X Saturday morning. I actually want to go have lunch and get some uh, Malcolm X uh, Malcolm X clothing and stuff. Uh, because this weekend in Harlem is Malcolm X weekend. If, if you guys don't know, it's it's a little bit more uh, it's a little bit more uh, cultural than Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo has turned into like a like a party weekend. You know, there's like no uh, like you, you get for all intents and purposes. But in Harlem, it's, it's a little bit more education, and it's so regional too. Like every state, every don't celebrate Malcolm X. You may, you may get little like uh, maybe down in Boston. Uh, by the train station, I forget the name of that. That uh, damn, what's the name of that street? I'm drawing a blank on. It's a it's a mural there, um, by the train stations. I think it starts with a D. I remember reading it from the book. Help me out. Put that in the comment section. They may celebrate it over there because that's still a black, uh, um, a black bastion there in Boston. They have like uh street merchants and stuff like that. So, uh, but Harlem is going to be fun this weekend. So I want to try and get to Harlem while I'm in New York Saturday morning, maybe from like seven to 12, I'll spend some time down in Harlem and then make it back by the fight by like one or two, but we'll see. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I salute y'all, honor y'all, but you know, y'all better start listening to me, but it's, it's okay. Go to your favorite media member and let them tweet, let them write articles and tell you that they fighting. They're not fighting. What, uh, what, uh, Jamel Charlo tell uh jared heard i got the date and what jared heard say i got the date who you gonna believe me or them <laughs> barbershop conversations man feel free to subscribe but I, I i had to come on and substantiate my claim so anyways man barbershop gotta take this call feel free to subscribe button talk to you soon peace